Sentencing for the Freeman High School shooter is nearing its end. Almost five years ago, Caleb Sharp shot and killed one classmate and injured three freshman girls. Today, the judge heard from two of the wounded girls and from Sam Strahan's mother. He was the teenager killed that day. As Krem 2's Amanda Rowley can tell us tonight, it was a heartbreaking day in court. Amanda? Mark and Whitney, that's right. Now, today, in their own words, Emma Neese and Gracie Jensen described what happened that day when Caleb Hart Sharp shot them on the second floor hallway of their school nearly five years ago. Now their parents shared the heartbreak that they've also felt since that day, and they all asked the judge to give the shooter the maximum sentence. The next thing I remember, I was laying in the hall, stuck, unable to get up and move. As I lay there, I watched him walk by me, lockdown alarm blaring, wearing an all black with the most, most emotionless face I've ever seen. Shooting at my classmates as they ran in fear of their lives into classrooms. I screamed. There was nothing else I could do. The fact that Gracie survived is remarkable. The fact that she can walk is a miracle. I started running and was so scared because I felt like I was running in slow motion. I felt a sort of pressure near my hip area. I didn't even think twice about it because my mission was to get to the nearest classroom as fast as possible. As I was running, I began thinking there's absolutely no way I'm getting out of this. But the scariest part for me was yet to come. You took so much from her, Caleb. You took her innocence. You extinguished her jovial personality, her ability to enjoy life without fear. You ruined my life. You took my only son and left Emily and I alone. You are a coward. That last voice you heard at the end there, that was Amy Strahan, Sam Strahan's mom. We'll be sharing more from her later tonight here on Creme 2. Meantime, the state and defense attorneys are going to be making their closing statements tomorrow morning. After that, the judge is expected to give his decision on the shooter's sentence. Reporting from the Spokane County Courthouse, Amanda Rowley, Creme 2.